This is the seventh session of my painting of Carla in the garden, the rose garden. And I've decided to place Carla's dogs, one either side of her. There's room for them in the painting. We're bringing Kira to the foreground. So Kira will be the larger dog. And Conan has his head on Carla's lap. It still is left for me to do more work on Carla's face and to develop the hands, which are in her lap. And now we're going to have Kira and Conan added to the scene. I think it's going to work really nicely. Now, I want to eliminate as much of the underpainting behind Kira and Conan as I can. Don't attempt this if you don't have a very high quality sheet of paper because, of course, you can destroy the surface of the paper. But I'm trying to wet the paper and then soak up some of that pigment where I'm now going to place these very light coloured dogs. Now, because my paper is a reasonably good quality watercolour paper, I'm getting quite a lot of pigment out of the paper without doing any destruction of the paper. But I've got to keep an eye on it. I have sketched the dogs in. Once I got the idea, I thought about it for 24 hours. I didn't rush in and do it. Um, I allow myself time to visualise the idea into the work and I could discussed it with several people, my husband, <laughs> my granddaughter and Carla. And Carla loved the idea. Now, I sent two preliminary sketches of how it might look to Carla and she and I both chose this one. I have multiple layers now, which is something I like. We've got Kira to the foreground. We've got Conan sitting a little bit behind Carla, but with his head on her knee. That places his head further forward than her head. And then, of course, the rose bush is behind, and then the far-off distance a suggestion of out-of-focus trees. So multiple layers now, a lot of depth into this scene. Very happy with that. Now, I'm not going to get enough pigment out of the paper to get it back to pure paper. So I can't really continue with this as watercolour because there's still too much staining of the paper. So I'm going to need to put an opaque medium onto the paper. So at this point, I have to decide if I wanted to continue in any other medium that would work on paper. And it's still not a clear decision but I will probably proceed with opaque watercolour, which is gouache. Uh, it still remains a watercolour. It just becomes gouache, which is the opaque watercolour. So I'll start off by painting a little Chinese white onto the paper to give it a little bit of a surface. I've tiny little bit of damage to the paper there, but not, not really enough to be of concern and uh, still getting more pigment out. So I spent about 20 minutes working on this, just gradually rinsing and rinsing. Another thing I could have done, I could have held the paper under the tap and allowed water to run over this small section where the dog is. However, the risk of doing that would be that I might have um, washed out paint where I want it to be. And I'm very happy with the dress. I don't want to mess around and risk paper splatters into that area. So this was the safest way for me to do it. If you're doing commission work, it's a good idea to do these preliminary sketches and send various ideas off like this one here. I've superimposed the two dogs, photographs of the dogs, over the portrait and I've sent that off to Carla and that's what she looked at and loved. So that's the guide now. And I'll have that beside me as I continue on and paint Kira and Conan into this painting. I think that will look really good. Now, the dogs won't be painted as you see them there. We're superimposing a new element into a painting that's already started. And the lighting must complement the lighting that's already in the painting. So there's going to be a shadow cast over the body 
of Conan, Conan being the dog that has his head on Carla's lap. We don't want his body to be in bright focus. We've already thrown a shadow on Carla's leg, so we'll also throw that same shadow across Conan's body. We'll have his head more in focus. We need to develop Carla's hands that are in her lap. Now, Kira, we don't want a lot of focus down around her paws, which are very low down in the painting. So we're going to need to basically shade that too. So we're quite happy with our plan and we'll proceed with that in the next stage. So here I start putting the opaque watercolour, the gouache, into the painting, the Chinese white. One. A concern that I have at this stage is the possibility of bleed through. Darker colours can bleed through lighter colours and these dogs are very light in colour and if I paint them over a underpainting that's tinted darker than the light of the dog, it may work for a print in that you may get a perfect image immediately that would work beautifully for taking a print. But if you were to keep the original for a period of time, that underpainting could bleed through and start showing. That's called pentimento, where the artist has changed their mind. Now, a way around that might be after I've applied this gouache and it's dried, to seal that surface with a non-bleed-through cover, something like perhaps the uh, Schmincke pastel fix. I could paint that over the gouache painting of the dog. Important not to apply that gouache too thickly, otherwise it could crack. Now you've got to keep all these things in mind if you want to have an archival quality painting. You can't just experiment. You can't just do anything and hope that painting is going to last. So this um, gouache covering is going on fairly lightly and uh, not caking it on. I'm putting it on so it will absorb into the paper and I think I will seal it and then I could complete the work in say pastel pencils or even soft pastel. Um, even will as I said, we could do gouache up into the point where we seal it because the gouache would need to, need to adhere to the paper, whereas the pastel fix would give a slightly textured surface which would be more suitable then for going into with pastels. So I've got many ways that I could finish this painting off. The main thing is that I'm going to have to go into an opaque medium because I've made the decision to add things after my initial plan, I had allowed for them and kept that paper pure white. And that's where it's very handy for the watercolourist to have an opaque medium that they can branch into. Uh, we don't always plan everything exactly as we wanted it to begin with. And I'm loving the fact that I decided to put the dogs in. The dogs weren't in the garden at the time. The dogs have never been to my garden. But um, I know Carla loves her dogs. And I just sort of could visualise that in her home element, the dogs would be there. So um, both her and I like this idea. As I said, I will seal this after this is fully dry and uh, make that decision, have my pastel pencils perhaps on hand very sharp and uh, consider maybe working with those. I've always loved working with pastel pencils and um, it goes back to my portraiture from decades ago. I did a lot of uh, fairly realist portraiture using the pastel pencils. So I think that worked very nicely for these golden retrievers. This work is one of my tutorials. It's copyrighted, so please don't share or copy it unless you have my permission or permission of a future copyright owner.